emotional and functional value. Think about it. If you are offering a greeting card to someone on his birthday, what is it that you are trying to do? Are you trying to tell him or remind him that it is his birthday or her birthday? They already know that. What is the value? On the other hand, would you know what brand of oil does your car use? Some of you may, most of you may not. But do you think the oil is not important for your car? If you don't have oil, your engine would cease. So an oil has a high functional value. It offers tremendous functional value. But you don't have an emotional connection to the company that offers or sells engine oil. But when it comes to the greeting card, it doesn't have virtually any functional value. You're just trying to remind someone that today is his or her birthday. But it gives a huge emotional value to the other person when you give them a greeting card. So there are functional aspects and there are emotional aspects. There are functional elements which can provide functional value to the customers and there are emotional elements that can provide emotional value to the customers. We always focus on functional value. We have a lot of test procedure, we have validations, we have research and we have whatnot when we want to enhance the value that we provide to the customers functionally. But do we at all focus on the emotional aspects? Yes, some industries do. You look at some of the best in class such as a Ritz Carton or maybe a Disney. These examples, we all talk about them. Why? Because they provide a lot of emotional value far beyond the functional value that we want to create in our product or service. Thus, a journey mapping is a very powerful tool which can help you to understand where you can provide emotional value to your customers which is far more valued by the customer than the functional value. Journey mapping is an exercise that you have to do with all your team members. So involve your team members, create a journey map where you can draw powerful insights about how you can redesign or how you can think of the life of the customer in future.